Finally. 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 Please, let this be it. Let this be... Okay, well, you're aggressive enough to be the prismatic slime. Take this. Take this. Oh my gosh, there it is. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair that all of you get to just stroll in at the last moment and see after what has been... It feels like forever and ever and ever since I, I have been down here searching. Is this another prismatic slime? No, it's just, oh, wow. Okay, that's a money slime. What? I didn't even know they made those. <laughs> I, I'm so jealous of all of you because you could get to just stroll on in and you get to just go ahead and, and appreciate the prismatic jelly harvested from the rare and el elusive prismatic slime. I am taking this to the wizard like right now right now and i will be quite put out if he actually does not let me in because it's so late i might have to just go ahead and like scream into the void if that's the case uh do i have anything in here i want to take with me not right now because i've been here all day i have been here literally all day i was going to just spend a little bit of time and i was going to go ahead and give marnie her birthday pie none of that happened because instead, I got a little frustrated that I still couldn't find the slime. That I found it in a day. Probably, oh my gosh, she's married. <gasps> the raccoon is married! This is not a drill. This is not a drill, the raccoon is married! Okay, 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 what do I do? What do I do? Um, throw out this white algae so I have a little bit of room to be able to go ahead and, and greet the happy couple. I literally was getting ready to offer the raccoon a wedding ring. I'm not joking. Hungry, need fruit. Dried apples and wild plum jelly. <gasps> Powder melon seeds requires two pine cones. Oh my gosh, broccoli seeds, summer squash seeds, carrot seeds. That's so cute. The special melon grows in the winter. Oh my gosh. They have unique seeds. I will be back, madame. I will bring you and your husband um, plenty of, of, let's see, plum jelly, wild plum jelly, and dried apples. I am so on that. I truly am. Rose stone. Oh my gosh, she let me in. Wizard. Wizard. You mustn't tell anyone, but I have reason to believe that one of the locals is actually my daughter. You know, I forgot how you just kind of throw that out there. Having met the person in question and having briefly fallen in love with her yet chosen another. Uh, um, well, here you go. Ah, you've returned from the hunt. I sense that you were successful. Now hand over the jelly and be gone. I have important work to do. You better give me like the coolest thing in the world, sir. Also, I do need to get another Junimo hut at some point. Um, I'm trying to remember. Ah, oh, this thing is so creepy. Wait, a receptacle of unknown origins. Wait, are there new things? Wee! Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to be in this scary place. I don't want to be in this scary place. And then this was the Shrine of Illusions to change my appearance. I'm good. I like who I am. I like how I look. I like who I am. I enjoy your prismatic jelly. I don't know if it's like radioactive. Do what you will with it. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you know, I'm really glad that we managed to find that jelly i i actually now that i'm sitting and thinking about it thinking that it's kind of amazing we found it in a day uh but for me it, it i mean technically i've searched for many many days and it felt like forever for me because you just go up and down and up and down and up and down and you just search and search and actually I was told at some point that whilst you're looking for the slime, you should have a little a little pop-up that says, oh, prismatic slime here. I did not. There was nothing like that. I could have missed it. I was so close to missing it. And yet, we did not. I am so relieved about that. 
And we also, in searching for this prismatic slime, to be fair, did manage to go ahead and we did manage to reach a new level of mastery. And now I can request from my grandfather's skills, um, hopefully something really cool. Like mining mastery, statue of the dwarf king, choose from two mining related powers a day, and gem bearing rocks now grant twice the gems, which would be a lot of gems with the bonuses I also have. The heavy furnace, more efficient. It will make a lot more of the bars at once. However, the fishing mastery would give me like two bobbers that I could attach to an iridium rod and I could encounter golden fishing chest. I love finding treasure while fishing. However, I feel like we should wait until we get mastery from like searching for some of the fish we haven't caught yet or like building the really adorable aquarium part of our like personal museum. That might be fitting. The farming mastery. We can have the Erysium Scythe, which would be so useful because it just harvests any crops and gathers hay. I would love that. I'm hoping that it doesn't cut the crops down because that would make me sad. <laughs> But we could also find golden animal crackers to permanently double the, like, produce. So we could get a lot of milk from, like, our cows. Or I guess a lot of truffles. Uh, and also touch the Statue of Blessing to get a unique blessing every day. That would also be very interesting. Or Combat Mastery, where we could reforge trinkets. We could go ahead and have the Dwarfish, the dwarfish Forge at home. Would be kind of cool, but I need the Cinder, like the cinder uh, gems for being able to like modify those anyway. <sighs> Two mining related powers each day. That loops back around talking about the cinder gems and the heavy furnace would really help with being able to upgrade a lot of our chest by getting us more copper bars. And it would also allow us to get more of that iridium going. So apparently I could get a butterfly hutch or something like that. <laughs> hmm. But that scythe, oh. We're headed into winter, though. I really want that fishing one, but let's do this. I'm going to do it. I want more gems. Okay, so Statue of the Dwarf King and Heavy Furnace are now recipes. So, what will they demand upon us? An order... Aha. 20 Iridium Bars. Seems pretty good. Don't need the Wicked Statue. I would like to just back away slowly from that scary thing. Um... And then a new furnace, which would be right here. The heavy furnace. You need two smaller furnaces for it. That's so funny. And then iron bars. Yay! I'll take it. I'll take it. Thanks, Grandpa. Like, really helping out from the grave in a lot of ways. I'm quite impressed, to be completely honest. Also, I miss our big raccoon, but I'm really glad we ended up cleaning up new areas. <gasps> Do you think Krobus is having a good time? I didn't think about that, but do you think he's actually, like doing good here because everything's been sort of tidied up the statue of uncertainty the statue can help you change professions oh well i like who i am but i'm glad to know that hey krobus i try not to make too much noise down here imagine if the townspeople heard my weird sounds coming from the sewer drain i mean you you kind of you kind of got me there to be fair wizard catalog Imrasmodius's private furniture collection. Butterfly powder. Sprinkle on a pet to remove them from your farm. What? No! And then monster fireplace. Um, dang! And the mixed seeds. Oh my gosh, Krovis. I didn't know you had all of this. Uh, let me go ahead and like clear some of these things out of the way so that maybe I could work with you. Um, please give the mixed seeds. Thank you very much. And then I need those solar essences for a bunch of things. And the wizard's catalog. It's almost 200,000 gold. I'll be back for that, Krobus. I'm not as wealthy as I used to be. I think Leah would... I'm the wrong side of town now. <laughs> but I think Leah would notice if, like, you know, 200,000 of our gold just disappeared. Because <laughs> all of a sudden it's noticeable. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Let me go ahead and put some of these things away. What an amazing series of events. Because, just wow, like, we went through a lot. And I know you were only here for a little bit this time, my friends, but we went through a lot, okay? 
<laughs> I was down there for a really long time. Look, I got 12 cave carrots though, which made me quite happy since that means that we'll be able to go ahead and like basically be able to make a whole bunch of those roots platters that I was worried I wouldn't have cave carrots for. Uh, also, we found out that the raccoon has a wife now. <gasps> okay, so we need the, the wild plum jelly, which means that I need to rustle up some wild plums. And... Come on, Siri brain. Wild plum jelly. And it was another jar. Oh no! I don't want to have forgotten. I was gonna be really cool and I was gonna remember. Oh, well, at least we can make a, a couple wild plum jellies. And then, oh, come on. Wild plum jelly. And I was like, cool, I can get that. And then, was it something dried? Ah! It's been a big day, that's all I can say. Um, oh man, can I make it to put this out? All right, go, go, go. All right, that's that. I needed these, well, I needed pickles or something for some of my fish too. I swear I did. <laughs> but for now, to sleep. I'm so relieved. We were able to go ahead and find that prismatic slime. I am so sad I missed Marnie's birthday, but that was not, that was not a simple task. I kind of want to have a simple day at home now with my, with my family. Maybe even help out a couple raccoons with their family. There's no activities going on today other than maybe, you know, hanging out with family yet again. Uh, just to keep the theme going. I did not mean to eat that strawberry, but I guess it served me well because it was a long night. There. Oh. oh, hey, Leah! I spent the morning repairing a few of the fences. They should be good as new. Thank you! I also filled Noodle's water bowl. Oh, it's going, it's going to be a special day. I can sense it. Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh. The specimen you delivered offered great insight into the machinations of the fell beings we call monsters. I formulated a pungent tincture that these beings find intoxicating. Use with caution. New crafting recipe, Monster Musk. That is not what I expected to get from all of this. Spray on this to draw monsters out of hiding. More monsters out of hiding. That's not what I thought was going to happen. At all. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I have to check in with my emotions. <laughs> They're a little frazzled. Um, wow. Yeah, you know what? Let's have just a nice relaxing day. We're going to go ahead, help out just a little bit of, uh, you know, the farming life. I actually cleared away a few of the a few of the plants that were around our mystic tree in case it was preventing the mystic tree from growing and i put down a whole bunch of seeds that had to do with the um, wild autumnal crops that we can go ahead and collect there's our mixed seeds that i can now sprinkle sprinkle down oh no i have hiccups uh oh oh my gosh not hiccups it's been so long since I've had hiccups. I must have gotten that agitated from all of the things happening. Oh no, not the hiccups. Okay, we're gonna see how much we can get done. Hiccups make me so dizzy before I cannot think any more because, oh dang it. Oh, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. This might be a really short day in some regards but let's go ahead and sell everything that's pretty high quality and the cranberry jelly and then let's go ahead and see if we can help out the raccoon i thought we were gonna get something different from the monster musk or like from the wizard the monster musk as well so I i'm kind of a little bit like confused about what to do with that information 
But let's come down here and check on our fish, cause, aha, uh -huh, rainbow trout pond. You wanted pickles! Ah, pickles. This really makes us feel at home. Yay! All right. So now those guy guys are happy. And I think I wanted rainbow trout for an important reason. I just, just don't remember why. And I need to bring green tea to the octopi. I don't remember why. But, but I realized upon finding out that the octopi wanted green tea that I actually don't have any tea. Because the tea that I had once upon a time was actually uh, from a special... Uh, oh no, sorry. From a special heirloom variety that was modded. Uh, and now that I no longer have it, I'm finding... Oh, and actually, you know what? I should make the new furnaces. If we're going to be over here and we're going to start working with things anyway. And then a bunch of stone, please. Thank you very much. Okay, and then... Yay! All right, two heavy furnaces to start. I think they need more coal too, but let's see. Ooh, wow! They really do take so much more ore. That's gonna help me out so much with getting through all of this and being able to get enough copper that we can go ahead and we can actually start upgrading all of our chest. I'm so happy. Okay, and we'll make at least a couple more. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my gosh. All right, that already feels like it's sort of like paying dividends. But what do we need in order to go ahead and make the, the blessings one? Because I would love to know. That's right, 20 iridium bars. Ah, that's like half my stock, but I think it's going to be worth it if we can go ahead and we can get some very useful blessings every day. So, statue of the dwarf king. I don't know if I like the dwarves though, because... Didn't they, like, attack Krobus's people? And and there was, like, sort of, like, this war between them? That makes me feel conflicted. Also, I didn't know that the, the smelter... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I didn't know that it was just going to churn out the uh, copper that fast. I think it works a lot fa faster than the old one. Wow. That's so good! We just went through a stack of, like, over a hundred copper ore that quickly. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, and here's the blessings. Bo oh my gosh, bombs cannot damage you. Or a greater chance to find coal. And we could pick from other blessings on other days. Dang it. Maybe I do worship the Dwarf King. Curse it. Alright, well. Before I pass out from hiccups, let's go ahead and we are going to wiggle down. Hello, my wo wonderful animals. You're blocking the path with truffles. And other problems. You never think that you're really going to have in life until suddenly they're here. Aha. And my path is really are getting destroyed more often. I wonder if that's that's normal. Uh, and then, oh good, my little mossy trees are growing over here. And the sturgeon pond is doing well. I'm trying to remember, don't the fish ponds sometimes give you really special things? And then let's come and check on these raccoons again. So you need, oh, that dried apples, that's right. All right, so dried apples it is for our little raccoon friends. And beyond that, I think I'm gonna spend some of, ooh, what is this? Oh, just a pine cone. Wait, pine cones, that's right. Maybe we'll be able to trade for some of those unusual um seeds that the lovely female raccoon has, but, I need to make some dried apples real quick. So we'll get that going. And then I'll have to see, one, two, three, four, five, if maybe those are done by the end of the day. Hi, Rowan, I need to go find where your sibling is. Let me put these apples away. And then I wonder what else I could dry. I have made dried cranberries and now dried cactus fruit fruits, which really cracked me up. So that's worth 500 and it gives you 200 energy. The cactus fruit on its own by itself is only 82. And I mean, you'd get more, more energy from the cactus fruit if you ate it, but let's see, five cranberry berries, 410 or 587 with the dried cranberries. 
So normal cranberries, 410. Okay, hmm, I'll think about that. I'll think about that. For now, I think I'm gonna end up with the early, early night in Stardew Valley to make up for all the time I've been spending in the mines, considering I can't stop hiccuping and I need to go lie down now. So I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>